All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing at 30. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for 2023 DC film called Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, aka Aquaman 2. And this is the last film of the Zack Snyder verse. And then going on to James Gunn's verse, after he's the head now of uh, DC. But here's the plot for this one. After failing to defeat Aquaman the first time, Black Manta wields the power of the mystic Black Trident to unleash an ancient and ma uh, male violent force. Hoping to end the reign of terror, Aquaman forges an unlikely alliance with his brother. Now here is the cast. Now look, I flat out love the first one. It was by far the reason why I actually started loving uh, and looking into uh, Jason Moe as an actor and as a person. Um, it was easily a 5 out of 5 in my opinion for that one. However, for this though, it was just okay for me personally. And maybe a little bit below okay. Jason Moe's quirky comedy routine was honestly starting to outplay its enjoyment more and more as the film went on, to the point I was slightly annoyed. Personally felt the Hollywood trend of global warming plots is being overdone and stale at this point, but in this it was pretty heavy and in your face, uh, and it felt like it was an easy way out for writing. And this is nothing political, I'm not going to tell you my opinion on it obviously, um, but I'm going to say from a writing point of view and a whole, of how Hollywood is, they go on trends and this is the been one that's been kind of about five, six, maybe even seven years. I've noticed with films, they're kind of this their trend that they safely stay on. Now, Manta's uh, plot felt clearly off out of place to me for a, re a revenge plot, including him as his character, and it felt like two different villain story plots butting heads in the writing. Despite having some funny spots, the comedy a lot of the time was a bit forced, specifically coming from uh, Jason Momoa. Unfortunately, which it sucks in my it, to me personally. Um, I like his comedy, but it's like his. He usually does it more lighter, and this was really heavy on it, and it was so out of place. It, it just kind of took away from the film. That's one of the things, anyways. The overused CGI, I personally don't mind, as to me it's a comic book film, so I expect it, especially with this one, especially how the other one was. But we'll say it was way better. Uh, than the Flash's CGI by far, but there was definitely some spots that could have been polished, and it was definitely a lot heavier, or not heavier, but a lot more common in this one by some, so compared to the first one. Uh, but here's my right now, come back to my final thoughts. To be honest, I'm honestly not surprised at all that I thought this was okay, considering the amount of times they had to reshoot scenes. It wasn't horrible in my opinion, but I'll definitely forget it, uh, forget it in the future, probably pretty fast. It's one of those forgettable films that was okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. Do I say it's as bad as people make it out to be? No, not really. People like to exaggerate on stuff. Um, I know they usually each their own, but. There, let's be honest, around these times, there's people, plenty of people that will exaggerate something. Um, but at the same time, I will say it's definitely, again, forgettable, and it's definitely a little bit below average of it. And it just kind of felt out of place compared to the first one where it made more sense of, of the comedy, and the story was more better written, and it was a fun and awesome badass film. Um, I had such a fun time with it. It wasn't even just as fun as just the, again the writing was really good. With this, no, the writing the writing was eh. It was a very big man, and it was uh, with the writing and the movie as a whole was just okay again. So, um, but that's just all my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, in the meantime, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. Remember to spread the love most poorly. Skull.